Hey everyone, this is Ed from Tech Talk. So if you have some old hard drives that are just hanging around the house or you have old broken laptops, computers, it doesn't matter. Figure out how to get the hard drives out. If you need help, send a comment down. I'll be more than happy to tell you how to get it out of there. Just give me the model, the make and model of the device that you have, and I'll be more than happy to give you some assistance on getting it out. But with that being said, in order to refurbish them, to turn them into usable external, external storage devices, you're going to have to purchase one of these um, devices. I prefer to use something like this, um, but this is what I'm using right now. This is what I have. But if I'm going to suggest to you to use anything, I would suggest going and getting one of these because you can do the M.2s and that's what most of the computers come with the you know the SATA and the MVME um, the it doesn't matter this two and a half floppy doesn't matter whether it's solid state drive or a mechanical HDD um, obviously the solid state drive is much better but anyways let me show you how easy it is on an apple computer to reformat these and prepare them for not only apple computer but for windows as well so go ahead and oh and by the way i'm going to when i'm done formatting my hard drive i'm going to show you <clears throat> how you can partition these to prepare them to have um, multiple partitions in my case um, I'm going to make partitions for different versions of Mac OS X so that I can boot from the USB and recover multiple different types of uh, Apple devices so for those of you using Windows operating system things are going to be a little bit different so let me just show you real quick on how to do how to repurpose a hard drive on a Windows operating system. So I have the device plugged in right now. You'll see, I'll unplug it, you'll hear it ding. I'll put it back in and you're not seeing anything. Now, it's indicating that it's seeing it, so that's a good thing. If it doesn't make any sound, that's probably not a good thing because it probably means that you have a bad hard drive. But if it's a good hard drive, just go ahead and type in the search, um, computer management and then just click on computer management and down here where it says disk management okay so as you can see we have 29.25 uh, gigabytes of unallocated space which is great um, we'll go ahead and right click on it we're going to go new simple volume now keep in mind if the your disk is bigger than 30, 30 gigabytes, um, you're going to have to go with the XFAT option. Uh, if you want to do FAT32, so let's say you want to use this in your car, it has to be FAT32. So that's a different video. Um, I'll put a description or I'll put a link in the description to how to format a hard drive uh, using an AOME software. It's, it's free. But go ahead and hit next here and then. We're going to go ahead and for now we're just going to leave it the way it is we're going to hit next we're going to leave it as d we're going to hit next again and now we're going to change this to um fat 32 and we're going to go ahead and hit next and the only reason why the fat 32 if you if you see x fat there go ahead and take the x fat um let me as you can see um if we hit on this pc right here now that usb device is showing so let me show you real quick if um, we were to use a larger hard drive, what would happen. So now I have plugged in a almost 500 gigabyte hard drive and you can see it's set up as XFAB, but let me get it back to where we, um, we were. I'm gonna go ahead and click delete volume. I'm gonna click yes. And now you see that it's it's showing as unallocated space. And then I'm going to go back into here. I'll hit refresh here. You're not going to see that 500 gigabytes in the PC. So now if you go to right click and do new simple volume here, hit next. We're just going to leave it temporarily. Hit next again. Hit next again. And then click here. Now you're going to see XFAT because 
Windows will not format in FAT32 anything larger than 30, gig, 30 gigabytes or 32 gigabytes. But anyways, you just select XFAT. And so what I'm going to do is I'm not going to select um, anything right now. I'm going to show you how you can partition it. Now, if you wanted to just use this all for storage, you could have selected XFAT and done, done the format. Good to go. But if you want to break this down into smaller partitions, right click, go new simple volume, and then click next. And then let's say you just want to um, break it down into uh, 20 gigabyte sizes um, or even, you know, 50 gigabyte sizes, doesn't matter. So I'm going to just do um, 21, 21,000 because that's like 21 gigabytes, but it, it'll be a little less. So it'll be more like 20. I'm going to go ahead and hit next, hit next. And that's a good thing to remember. So if you want 50 gigabytes, go 50,000 um, and so on. Now I'm going to change this to FAT32 <clears throat> because um, I just made this smaller than the, the 30 gigabytes. So I'm going to go ahead and hit next and I'm going to hit finish. Now when we go into the C drive, this PC, now you can see that you have 20 gigabytes available to use. Now if you just wanted to use this whole thing, you could have just did a new simple volume, click next, click next, click next, change this to XFAT, click next, click finish, and now both of these drives should be showing in the Windows operating system. And then you just click here and go this PC. Now you have two, one at 445 gigs, one at 20 gigs. But either way, whichever way you decide to do it, that's how you do it. So let me get back to showing you how to um, format a hard drive in the Apple. But anyways, let me get to it. So up here in the search, in the finder, just go ahead and type disk utility. And then once it's open, go ahead and stick, put in your USB device. And you should see it under external. and for example, this is 159.83. If you do not see this here, um, the first thing you're going to need to do is go up here to the view and change it to show all. Yours is probably most likely like this. And um, um, the best thing to do is always to turn it to show all devices. Then click up here and do your erase and, and format from here and your partitioning. So what we're going to do is we're going to click here and we're going to hit erase. And for now, you can leave it untitled. We're going to change this from Mac OS Extended journal, Journaled to XFAT. XFAT works across platforms, so you can plug this into a Windows device and it will see it, assuming that you have your external USB adapter. And make sure it's set to GUID Partition Map and then hit Erase. GUID is kind of required to make it bootable. So if you're going to make this a bootable disk, it's going to have to be GUI. So you can also, as you notice, this pops up and offers you to make a, a time machine backup. And that's not something I'm going to do in this video, but it is an option. If you're interested in learning how to do that, go ahead and leave a comment below and then just click done. And now you can see we have an untitled 159.83 gigabytes. And technically, this is ready to go. So if you go into Finder now, um, you are going to see your untitled here. And you can copy data to this now. So I'm going to close this. But if you want to create separate partitions, on the other hand, you're going to have to <clears throat> go back to here. You're going to hit Erase. and you're going to go ahead and select Mac OS Extended Journaled. And then you're going to select GUI Partition. And then you're going to hit Erase. Again, you're going to click Don't Use and then click Done. Now we should be able to go in and click partition. And now we should be able to just click the plus mark. Is so if you only want two partitions, that's fine. 
So 26, I'm going to make, I'm going to, I'm going to set it to, um, to the six partitions. I don't have to name them all right now. I can just literally leave them the way they are. They can be renamed later and I'm going to hit apply and then I'm going to hit partition. So the reason why I made them 26 is because now I can create, um, now I know I have more than enough space to put each operating system on and you'll notice as well if you don't click on the uh, time machine pop-up it'll go away on its own and just continue um with the partition for example you see how it just did that um it it pretty much is self um proficient so and once again it's going to go don't it's going to i'm not clicking anything it's doing it on its own and we're just about done here. And there you have it. So now I'm going to go ahead and click done. So <clears throat> I can go through here and I can click on each one. And so I can, so if I wanted to name this um, High Sierra. Now keep in mind when you're doing a partition for, um, you're doing a partition for, with a GUI partition so that you can do an image on it. It's case sensitive one because you have to run this, you have to run this code later, but that's going to be a totally different video. So if you're interested in that video, go ahead and um, hit that bell so that you get notified when I release it. Um, I may actually have it in the description at some point. I will update the description to include that. Um, but that's pretty much it, my friends. Um, once you click away from this, it'll rename this High Sierra. But hey, if this helps you, please consider liking, subscribing, and um, thanks for watching. All right.